Welcome to the vibrant world of the Olympic Games, where the pinnacle of athletic prowess meets a global celebration of diversity and unity. Each Games brings together the world's finest sports people, but it's also a stage where lesser-known athletes from far-flung nations shine bright, thanks to a special system known as Universality Places. So, what exactly are Universality Places? They're a fantastic feature of the Olympics, designed to ensure that a wide array of nations get to participate, regardless of their past athletic achievements. For the upcoming Paris 2024 Games, Universality Places are being offered to national Olympic committees that had an average of eight or fewer athletes in individual sports at the previous Olympics in 2016 and 2021. In total, 93 nations will benefit from these places, 35 from Africa, 18 from the Americas, 17 from Asia, 14 from Oceania, and 9 from Europe. In the realm of athletics, these universality spots are crucial. If a country doesn't have any athletes qualified for the Games, they can still send their best-ranked runner in either the 100 meters, 800 meters, or marathon. This rule applies equally to countries with qualified male athletes sending unqualified female athletes, and vice versa. Previously, up to two athletes per country could enter through universality, but now it's limited to one due to a reduced quota. However, the International Olympic Committee has the power to request an additional spot to ensure gender balance. Despite the challenges of international competition, some universality entrants have achieved remarkable feats. Take Halalia Johannes from Namibia. She's a 2019 World Marathon bronze medalist and 2018 Commonwealth champion. Or Lalu Mohamed Zori from Indonesia, who was the 2018 World U2100 meters champion. Then there's Sarodi Batoker from Mongolia, who's making his sixth Olympic appearance. Batoker, who has competed in the 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, and 2021 Olympics, initially entered through universality places, but has since qualified by meeting entry standards. As he gears up for Paris 2024, Batoker, now 42, will be aiming to improve on his highest Olympic finish of 51st place from 2012. With a record of 2 hours 8 minutes and 50 seconds, and a season's best of 2 hours 10 minutes and 10 seconds, his journey is a testament to dedication and the Olympic spirit. So, as we look forward to Paris 2024, remember that every athlete's story, whether they're a seasoned champion or a first-time Olympian through universality places, adds a unique thread to the rich tapestry of the Games. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.